I only have two more of my villagers houses to renovate before all of my villager houses are done. In case you're not familiar, there is a new feature in Animal Crossing New Horizons that came with the Happy Home Paradise DLC that allows you to change the inside and the outside of the villager houses on your island. I've done a bunch of these before. If you would like, I will link a playlist if you wanna see the other beautiful creations I've come up with. But let me show you the last two houses I have. I love cooking. Making dinner is one of my most favorite times of the day. I get to listen to a little podcast. I can focus in on my little meal. It's great. It's total me time. Something I don't love, however, is grocery shopping and meal planning. So things like budgeting, couponing, trying to make the most out of the things I'm buying, I hate it. On weeks that I am definitely dreading that, I like to order from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm straight to your door within a week, allowing you to enjoy the delicious flavors of the season right from home. Their meal kit recipes include fresh pre-portioned ingredients. That means less prep for you and less wasted food, which I love. HelloFresh this new menu includes Mediterranean options. So think fresh fruits, fresh veggies, we got nuts, olive oils, fiber packed whole grains, you know, the whole shebang. Everything you need for a delicious and nutritious summer meal. Having perfectly portioned meals helps me so much on days that I don't wanna figure out what I'm cooking. It's all ready to go, which is fabulous. Use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use my code POGLISSOG16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three surprise gifts. Once you click my description, we'll live update to count up the purchases. Special thank you to HelloFresh. Now let's get back into our Animal Cross. Since I have a more tropical vibe to my island, I wanted to do a little tiki bar in these villagers' yards. Say hello to Toby's house. Toby is the Karopi Sanrio villager. My new favorite Sanrio villager, actually. Um, I really love Karopi. I never thought that I would be here being a frog girl, but here I am. At least I think Kuropi's a frog. You never know. I called Cap'n a frog and I was dead wrong apparently. One time during stream I was like that little frog man or something and everyone was like, no, he's a... And then I, I was like, I had no idea. He just, he gives off frog to me. Toby's house um, is here and I actually really like it. I don't know if I want to do his house today or not. Mm. I don't know. It has all the special Sanrio furniture in it. So I'm like, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Oh, looking at a butterfly. That was so precious. And this is Monty's house. Oh, it's a Monty Marcel party. So I didn't realize that Monty's house was really autumn themed. It's very autumnal. I really wanna know like, what are they doing? This is so cute. Liz, can you see me? I thought maybe I was a ghost for the, oh, big yikes. I had to time travel a whole bunch recently. Oh God, this breaks my heart. I had to time travel because I was making the video about the star trees thing and I was trying to find a meteor shower. It took me forever to find one. I don't have all of my, stuff figured out to figure out when my meteor showers come. Oh, this is so sad. So yeah, it does seem like I haven't talked to my villagers in a month, but I really promise I wouldn't just abandon you guys like that. I was just simply cheating. But this is Monty's house. Hmm, I don't know. I just don't think I'm like inspired to do Monty's house right now. Ugh, it's tough. I think that Today, Toby deserves to have the makeover. He has all of his like special Sanrio furniture inside of his house and I'm gonna use a majority of that, but we're just gonna elevate it, bring it to the next level. So Mr. Nookington is asking me, do I wanna do the inside or the outside? I, I don't really care to do the outside at all. I really never change the outside of my villager houses that much. Like they look fine. I don't know, maybe I just pick good villagers with good outsides. But this is Toby's interior. See, he's using a lot of his own furniture, which, okay, like obsessed with yourself much. No, I think that it's a really good place to start. I'm not gonna use all of it, I don't think, cause some of this stuff is, I don't know, like more outside items. Let's see, I don't know. I don't wanna take all of like the personality out of the place. I don't know if I really dig the wallpaper all that much. I'm really inspired by Crystal Cat's Island, the one that I toured recently. I wanna just do like all sorts of beautiful rural Japanese kind of designs. Ah, oh, shoot, what are we gonna do? Okay, you know what? I am gonna sit down and I'm gonna figure out the wallpaper and the flooring. I do this every time, but I wanna make sure that I'm like confident with my decision. Otherwise we will sit here and flip flop back and forth all day. BRB, hello. 
So I did a lot of things. <laughs> Let me explain. I've been dying to do this wallpaper combo forever. It's probably one of my favorite looking things. I love how like blue green pretty it is. And then I kind of just picked a random flooring, but I kind of figured, I don't know if Toby would be into this. I think maybe we can go for a bathhouse vibe. I also want to like incorporate this guy a little bit too, you know? I really love this bench thing. Maybe I can move the wall to like the other side or something. I don't know. I also like when my villager houses are kind of just like normal little homes. You think maybe I could fit both concepts in here? I personally do think that we could. If I move the accent wall to this side and have this be like the bathhousey side, that could be so sick. And then maybe I could fit in like a little kitchen or something there. I also, yeah, just think I'm taking up too much room. Hmm, let me know. Let me know if you think this is a strange direction, but I think that we could try to get started. First thing is first, I would like for him to have like a kitchen bedroom thing. Let's just start with the classic combo, compact kitchen and sloppy sink. Where'd you go? Yep. Ooh, we could do like the blue and the green thing, but it's getting a little overwhelming, don't you think? Okay, this is a pretty standard solid layout for me. I think I've done a couple houses like this before. And then we could put a bed back there. Is there a bed that comes with this thing? No. His furniture comes with like the hallway thing. Yeah, I can find him something. You know, I'm not opposed to a little tatami situation. And then, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, the, yeah, there's a lot of wood tones going on here. Because you know what? I think I want to, like, dim the lights quite a bit. How do I do that? Also, I'm so sorry if you hear, like, a hissing. There's been a hissing coming from my neighbor's apartment, like, all day. It's driving me nuts, though. All right, hit the lights. Dim it down a little bit in here. Yes. I'm really hating this flooring right now, actually. <laughs> I have quite a big problem with it. I don't want to do like tatami flooring. That doesn't feel like it's gonna work. Not for like a little bathhouse. I think, I guess this tile kind of matches. I wonder, is there a matching tile to these two wallpapers? Cause these two wallpapers match. I don't know why there wouldn't be a matching tile. That would be super cool for me. If not, I think I'll be okay. Okay, yeah, this isn't bad at all. It's a weird direction. <laughs> Honestly, the flooring is pissing me off. Oh no, what do I do? Whatever, you know what? Ignore it. That's the best thing to do, I think. And then we'll come back to it later. Who knows? This might even be like a really weird concept and it might not even work. Yeah, these colors are starting to get a little crazy. Okay, hmm, hmm. I think it'd look better if this guy was in the corner somehow and then maybe this guy was just like right next to him. You know what? I think we're onto something there. That's cute. Maybe my bathhouse idea will work after all and it won't end up in flames. I've also decided I'm going to be chilling to the max in this video. Okay, yeah, this idea I don't think is half bad. I, <laughs> yeah, just trust me. Okay, having a light back there, I don't know, I think it just looks nice. And instead of this guy, what if we did a screen? Like a little separation screen? Ooh, okay, better, definitely better. I don't know which one I like the best yet, but like the whole concept, the whole shebang, it's nice. But I could fit a couch right here. <laughs> oh my God, this is so much green. What am I doing? There's gotta be something that I can do to fix that. And I have a feeling it's gonna be the floors or we could just go all out. I don't think there's anything wrong with going all out. This isn't even a table, it's a chair but I like how small it is. So I find myself using her quite a bit because I just think that she looks nice. So I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm giving him a TV as well. I'm just giving him a nice little TV. He doesn't need anything too large. Oh, should I move this rug over here? I kind of like being able to see the whole Kuropi face. Uh, what if I did its own little rug in this section? You ever think about that? <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, what about that? I don't know, it's not terrible. <laughs> we'll stick with it. You know what, as um, discombobulated as this might feel, I really like it. And who knows, maybe I'll even add a paper lantern. Okay, what if I turn the lights off? Is that what it looks like with the lights off? Damn, I thought it was gonna be like darker in here. Ooh, what if I took the window out? I don't really care for that window. Ooh. Okay, yeah, it's a little too dim. Like right here. Oh yeah. Okay, don't know if I like the lantern, but you know what? Screw it. I'm keeping it for now. Oh, it has taken so much in me to not complain about that counter height. 
Yep, find your inner peace. Don't question why she doesn't match. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that, you know, even if you just chopped off a couple inches off the top, it would look perfectly fine and there would be nothing to complain about. It doesn't matter. You know what I always forget that you guys always point out to me is that you can put something on top of the stove. I always forget that. So today, I will not be forgetting. I don't know, that doesn't look right to me. How about let's do some fried rice? You're telling me a Toby fried this rice? And then I just love how the little ramen looks. It's so cute. So I will put him right here. Or should I opt for instead, instead of having a dish, put a little desk right here? I mean, it is a very small apartment, but then I can give him a cute little laptop. And I don't know why that just brings me so much joy. Now it sounds like somebody's mowing a lawn, but they cannot be because it is 7.30. And who does that at 7.30? Okay, hmm. But Eve, kitchen was like beast, and then desk. Oh, it's tough. Oh, this is so tough. Really important to me that my villagers walk around and stuff. Okay, so the bed on that wall with the kitchen. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, I gotta play around with this. One second. This is what I have decided. All right, so his desk is gonna be a little box. You like it? Yes or no? Because I want to give him a cute little laptop and no one is going to stop me and he's going to use it to do web browsing. Yes. Okay, but I want him to be able to sit there um, with like a little cushion. So these are gonna get swapped. Okay, Jesus criminy. That's it, that's it right there. And then we'll give him a cushion. Ooh, where is that Zen cushion? Um, does it just not exist here? <laughs> oh, it's right here. Also, I've decided too much going on. Too much, too much, too much. I would really like for this thing, the Kuropi doll, be in the house somewhere. That looks good to me. And then I need a little bit more lamp action a little bit more lampy yeah that's cutesy maybe this belongs up here i don't know mm. would love to put a cute little towel basket there that's my first instinct is this guy on the bench and then oh we need a music player somewhere and since i'm kind of out of room i think i'm gonna put it on the bench as well nice okay this is not bad at all you know if we even wanted a little bit more space we could do something like this I hate it, actually. Never mind. We are not doing anything like that. Okay, better. It's fixed. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm happy with, I guess, the floor plan, the next step is to do the walls. Now, to all of my villagers' builds, I like to add their favorite songs, like the album, to the wall somewhere. And it looks like Toby's favorite song is King KK, which is conveniently right there for me. Oh. I also just saw something that caught my eye. What is this? A tray? Oh my gosh, really? That's so cute. Oh, I also forgot about the snack. Ugh. The snack fits on the tray kind of gorgeously. You know what? Maybe this doll, doll needs to piss off. Just forget that she existed. And then for the rest of his wall decor, I guess I'm just gonna give him um, whatever. One cool thing that I see people do that I absolutely love is putting these bottles, like glitching them. No, they'll put the bottles like that so it looks like they're on the bathtub ledge. Do you see? Super cool and I'm doing it. That's the first time I've ever done that and I love. You know what? I wish that there was a picture of me, <laughs> my villager, so that I could hang myself in all of my villagers' houses. Is that a little much? I think so. Ooh, that's kind of, yeah, mm, no. I'm gonna do this poster nearby the laptop. It's the Kuropi poster that comes in the poster set for the Sanrio villagers. <laughs> is there a ribbitoid or something that ribbits? Uh, if there is, I don't have one, and that would have been cool. Spikenoid is a very good gyroid and i think i'm willing to have him in here yeah kind of a bummer there's no ribidoid that i know of at least you guys are hiding ribidoid from me you have to tell me i kind of want to keep it simple and classy here by the bath part nothing too crazy and i'm gonna do the fish scroll nearby the bath accent wall doesn't need anything at all 
and if anybody tells you different, they're wrong. Okay, spikenoid is kind of getting on my last nerves here too. He's a little bit much. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a picture of Punchy in the house because even though I don't know that they are friends, I would like for them to be friends, Toby and Punchy that is. Can I get away with putting this over the kitchen? I kind of think I can. Instead of doing wall, wall decor. Okay, now I'm just convinced that my neighbors are working on the plumbing. Hello? Do you not know that I'm trying to decorate my beautiful, gorgeous Animal Crossing home? I'm trying to add a little bit of like lush greenery. I don't want to overfill the walls or anything like that, but I do want it to feel like lived in in here, you know? Okay, that's not terrible. Oh wait, no, that does look- ah! Did I just get rid of the rug? Oh, silly me. That was silly. When in doubt, KK album it out. I love doing KK album walls. They save the day quite a bit. Maybe Toby's a music buff. You know, that looks good actually, wow. Wow. I gotta add a little bit of like finishing touches. And then also I gotta get that rug back. <laughs> Walk with me here. This flooring could work, I think. I gotta put his song on King KK it was, right? I don't have King KK. That's really awkward. Are we sure? Wow, that sucks. Okay, um, oh. I don't wanna talk about it, anyways. <laughs> Um, polishing. Oh, ew, keep the lights off. How do I do that? Okay. <laughs> I don't have that many polish effects. I heard that there was more, and I just simply don't have them, so. If I sit, can I polish? No, I can't. Shatter bubble. Right there. Okay, what next? <laughs> I could make the uh, walk steamier. Dizzy spin. Maybe on the uh, record player. That's kind of fun, because it's spinning. Ever think about that? Ooh, I would really love to. Ooh, if this is possible, yes. Steam shine this with steam. Yeah, that looks good. I actually don't really like it that much on the stove. Polishing effects are so awesome. Awesome possum. Everything else looks pretty good. Um, I guess maybe one thing is that it kind of bugs me how there's like nothing right here. You know what I'm saying? Do I have room to put at the tiniest, the most microscopic, tiniest little table? Not really. Ugh, bummer. I guess it doesn't really get tinier than that, folks. We could do cardboard boxes because it could be aesthetic, which is very cute, but it kind of bugs me because villagers can't shimmy as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen a villager shimmy. Is this my one exception to my villagers need to be able to move around rule? Because look, he's got a cushion right there so he can sit at this and he can't really get back here to go to the bath but i can so you know what it's a win for me honestly there's nothing else that i could do and i like it i really like how it turned out if you would change anything though let me know i would love to go back and change some of my villagers houses at some points and one of the big reasons for that is um putting villager photos of villagers that I ship with each other in their houses. Would that not be the best? I kind of love it. <laughs> That's all, folks. That's what I got for you. I suppose we should do a final camera spin. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, that was a little fast. Again, I have a playlist if you wanna watch me do any of my other villagers' houses. Um, follow my socials, they're all down below. Hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so, and I will see you in the next one.